At Fort Rinella on Malta, they have eight retired polo ponies rescued from the butcher, and every day these are used for displays of cavalry drills and the ancient and noble art of tent pegging. First we saw them warm up going through the various gates, walking at about four miles an hour. You'll notice that the riders have ammunition bandoliers. The lances in Victorian times would have carried carbines as well. The horses are trotting now. This horse is average. Next, a trot at about seven miles an hour. Horses could keep this up for a fair while. Then a canter. At least that's what the one in front is doing. That's at about 15 miles an hour. This is canter. These old ponies gallop at about 35 miles an hour, but a top thoroughbred racehorse might do more like 50. Now the lance drill. The first section is for use against opposing cavalry. Gate! Lances! First division against cavalry! Left front! Point! Ha! And thrust! Ha! Left front! Point! Ha! And thrust! Ha! These movements are assumed to be carried out on the move, so there's only one strike that goes backwards on each side, using the lance at its longest, because that way you're not going to get a second chance. Point! Ha! Second division against infantry! The second section is for use against infantry, and you'll see that there are parrying movements before the strikes to deal with enemy bayonets. Evidence for tent pegging goes back to the 4th century BC and it started yeah, somewhere in Asia, possibly India or Persia, we don't know. Supposedly, the skill was used for collapsing enemy tents in pre-dawn raids by galloping past and removing their tent pegs. This strikes me as unlikely and I don't know of any evidence for such raids. It did, though, hone the skills of riders aiming accurately at high speeds. Today it's a sport and you get points for hitting the pegs, a good hit knocks the peg out of its position and the best hit that gets the most points impales the peg so that you can carry it to the end of the run. Well, hey, like that! There's a minimum speed you have to keep up of about 29 miles an hour. Go too slowly and you're penalised. The horses and riders here are competing and they keep a running score. Today's winning horse was 25 years old. They have ambitions to take their cavalry project further at Fort Rinella, and if you want to help out, perhaps by making a financial contribution, you can see the link in the description. <laughs>